my name is Dr. Gabriel, I'm one of the consultants who works at the Manchester Centre for Sexual Health. So when you arrive at the clinic, usually you register at the reception, which is right out there at the very end. Um, and after you register at the reception, you wait in one of the waiting areas till one of the doctors calls you in or nurses calls you in for a, for a test. And after you're seen, you go home and then you'll get the test results. Usually they're sent via text message on the phone. Right, um, yes, I mean, when you see the nurse, this is a sexual health clinic. So, uh, but we're also doctors, so we'll ask you general doctor type questions, like uh, what's your current medical history, what medications you're on, so that's just to see whether there's anything relevant for us, or anything that could be related to the reason you're here, or any medications which could interact with anything we could potentially give you. Uh, and then, obviously, we need to get to the personal details, so we need to get the details of when and what you did when you last had sex, and maybe go back a few partners before that. And then we do what's called a blood-borne viral infection screen, which is asking you even more personal questions about your risk of HIV. It's all confidential, so don't worry about what you tell me, it's all kept within these four walls. That's a favourite question. Okay, so if you heard about the umbrella, we don't actually use the umbrella anymore. The equivalent of the umbrella is this little tiny uh, red plasticky swab here, which we might need to just put it in just a little bit into the en end of the penis to collect a sample of discharge. But we only do this if you've got symptoms. So if you've got, say, a urethral discharge, so some discharge coming out of the penis, then we can gather some of it with this, put it on the microscope and give you a result there and then. So a bit of pain, but a lot of gain. Um, what is even more important, however, is just doing the swabs in the urine sample. And the urine sample is actually collected here. Now, no man can aim in this that I know of. Uh, so we give people a usual uh, urine bottle and they pee in it and then one of the nurses gets some of the urine and puts it here. And if you're gay, you get swabs from the throat and usually from the back passage and it's just this tiny little swab here. Right, uh, when your results are ready, now as I said, if you've got symptoms, sometimes we can do this test and give you the result there and then, so we'll be able to give you a provisional result on the day of the clinic. But if you're here with no symptoms and you're simply having a checkup, then you leave a mobile number at registration and we will uh, just text you the results on your mobile phone that you left with us. Usually, I mean, it's good practice because if you don't treat the partner and then you have sex with the partner, you're going to just catch it again. So yes, that's something that, you, that we would encourage you to do. Um, if you feel uncomfortable do it, uh, doing it, then we can do it on your behalf or anonymously. And sometimes partners are not contactable, so don't worry if they aren't contactable, we'll still treat you and uh, we'll all do our best to get, to get the details if we can. Uh, absolutely not. I mean, what uh, happens at Manchester Centre for Sexual Health stays in Manchester Centre for Sexual Health, unless obviously with your permission there is something that the GP should know about. Well, if you have an STI and you need treatment, then uh, we'll call you in, tell you that you have an STI, uh, we'll explain it in detail, explain what the treatment is, and then offer it to you. And usually we have a stock of treatment in here, so maybe there is, maybe there isn't, a few. Um, and we'll just take the stock out, give you the tablets, glass of water, and you can take them. 
but sometimes the treatment requires an injection and we can sort out, one of the nurses will usually sort that out in one of the adjacent rooms.